Hi everyone, Lolly here. I'm going to put this um, book up on my website, so I wanted to do a flip through for anyone interested in purchasing it. It's an altered composition book, and I'm going to start with the front here. Kind of has started with maybe like a technical kind of theme, and then it kind of went a little grungy. So. Um, I loved it. I just fell in love with the cover and just have added some bits and pieces here. This is an old file. The metal piece right here is like an old file uh, divider. And this little U can come out and you can put your name or something there or a word, whatever you want to put on there. So you just slip it out on the side and put in the word that you would like to have there. So corrugated uh, cardboard to some bits and pieces some mesh here on the side an old dictionary page in the background and just a little embellishment here with little wheels and a pin I'm just not gonna spend a whole lot of time on every page just in case you're the one that wants to purchase it um, so it won't be like a tutorial it's just gonna be mostly a flip through in this pocket I have included a tag Oops, sorry. And then some bits and pieces here also that you can uh, use how you'd like inside the book. And then here's just a card here to flip out. Just write your name or something important in there. Um, there's a little ink here and there. I didn't pull this page out and start over because it's kind of the theme of it. It's a little bit grungy, so I just left the ink that was on there. Some of the pages are stamped with some stenciling on there. Kind of did it a little bit like I do my art journal pages. This comes out, this is washi tape. Um, washi tape is removable. You can stick it over and over and move this to wherever you want or use this card how you'd like to write notes or something on. Many, many of the pages have washi tape on the edges. I like the way that it helps um, kind of strengthen the page and gives a little something to each page that's on there. This here is a little tuck where you could, mm, let me just get a piece of scrap paper here. You can tuck some notes or something you need to remember, a calendar, something like that behind that little spot there. And again, sometimes there's just a little stenciling or a little stamp on the page just to give it a little something on there. There's a little hello right there. And the butterfly and again with the washi tape and the stamps um, just a label here this is just a gauze tape with the dictionary page tab this is an old like school paper or something but it was um, maybe gym moves or I don't know some kind of obstacle courses on here something like that but it's a tuck spot as well I'm sorry I'm still gonna pull the glue strings off so a little gauze and some washi tape on this page these pages the same have washi tape um the tabs are all a little grungy sorry to still have bits and pieces everywhere um and they're just pieces of dictionary pages or scrapbook paper that i had that matched the theme this was um at one point i tried that method where you take um craft paper and make it feel like leather and so that's a piece of that right there and inside is uh, you can use it for a bookmark and two little they look like distress pages it's tucked in there you can use them how you like and just more washi tape on each of the pages again this is stuck down with washi tape you can take that off and use it as you please with notes or something like that on there again dictionary page tabs more washi tape this is just a piece of tea dye cloth that's there as a tab um, some more stamping pieces of cardboard that are the tabs there again and cut with like the decorative scissors so they're not just straight but if you wanted it straight you could just trim it off there this is just a little flip out. It's a piece of graph paper you can take out and use how you'd like in the journal or just leave it right there. Also with washi tape so you could take it out, remove it, um, and put it back in however you'd like. Again, the dictionary pages 
washi tape. This is some burlap trim there as a divider. And again with the graph paper. You never know when you need a piece of graph paper if you take this to school or something like that. And again, this is a piece of that um, craft paper turned like the leather look with some stamping. And this is just a clear piece of um, like vellum and it had the alphabet like the old typewriter style on there. So that's just a tab cut out of there. These are more pages with washi tape. And this is a tuck spot here, which is some paper and a tag there. And then just a bookmark you can use throughout the book, however you'd like. And again, just more pages with some stamping and some washi tape. Just a piece of um, paper here that matches other papers inside. Just cut in kind of a funky little cut there as a tab. And again, another tab, some corrugated cardboard here as a tab but in the end I just put a Z and some numbers and some washi tape up there in the back just have some embellishments here and this is a pocket there's a label you can put your name on there this is like um, looks like distressed paper I bought them that way these little sheets like that here's a little card your ledger card and then this tag you can use for notes or writing whatever you'd like on there and the back is just a dictionary page and some black and kind of cream colored writing i don't normally do much on the back so that you can lay it around put it in your bag do what you want to do and the back doesn't keep you from um, writing or anything like that so there it is it's my altered composition book and by the time you see this know if that goes on there I guess it does um it will be in my Etsy shop in that scrappy lolly paper company.com and you'll find the listing there along with others um, on my website thank you for spending time with me and um, if you're the one who chooses to purchase this book I think that you'll enjoy it I really like the look of it myself so take care and thank you so much